Hi, welcome to week four of our weekly love challenges. I'm feeling excited. I hope you're feeling excited. Are you feeling excited? Good, I believe. I, I, I believe you're excited. And you may not have the emotion coming naturally of excitement. Some of you may, some of you may not. But regardless, you can choose that emotion. You know, I love the scripture where Yeshua, here he is not, his default emotion is definitely one of stress and worry and anxiety, severe anxiety here in the Garden of Gethsemane. I mean, he is so anxious and overwhelmed, he's sweating drops of blood. And then the scripture says that he endured the cross, he endured what was presently happening for him because of the joy, not in the present moment, but the joy set before him. Can you, can you feel the excitement about that which is set before you, that which is being drawn to you as it pertains to love or whatever it is that you are pressing towards and believing for? And so we're going to jump into week four. I am taking our love challenges from my book, The 30 Day Love Challenge, to love yourself and others more deeply. The information is on your screen if you want to purchase a copy for yourself to have. Uh, we're obviously not doing it in 30 days. We're doing it weekly. Why? Because we want to go deep in this thing. We don't want to feel the pressure of, you know, getting it right every single day. That's that's too much weight. Love isn't about that weight. Love is love is about taking uh, this yoke that is easy, this burden that is light. Now, this doesn't say that the love walk is easy by by any means, but it says the difficulty of uh, not being able to lose your life, not being able to surrender because it's based on you. Because, you know, it's like, okay, well, I don't know if I can have the confidence in me to actually lose my life. That burden, that pressure has been lifted off of you because Christ has accomplished everything for you. And so you don't have to put the confidence in yourself you can put your confidence in him. He says, I couldn't speak plainly to you like this before, but now I do. He says, in this world, you're going to have trials and tribulation, but, but take comfort. Be comforted. Be encouraged because I've overcome the world for you. And so that is why the, the yoke is easy. That is why, though it's a burden, it's a light one because the pressure isn't on us. It's already been accomplished. We're just walking into what has already been done. And so we're actually going to take the, the same one we did last week, but this week we're going to apply it to ourselves. And so that is, if you want more love, do you give it? There, there, is, there, there are treatments, there are, are ways and, and experiences that we want from other people. You, you want somebody to treat you a certain way. You want somebody to love you a certain way. You want someone to, to give to them. If you're a woman, uh, you, you want a man to, to give to you, to love you in the way that Christ loved the church. If you're a man, you want, ideally, you want a woman to love you in the way she loves Christ, uh, the way she honors and, re and respects Christ. And so... That which we desire to get from another person, we're going to give it to ourselves this week. And so I want you to be super intentional. Do you want more love? If you want more love, do you give it? I want you to be super intentional to love you this week. And this can be by way of tangible things. Some of you might be like, oh yeah, this is my excuse to go and shopping and buy, go and buy me, you know. Uh, Sure, if, if you feel led on the inside to do that, but it may be something different. It may be giving yourself sleep. It may be erasing an app off your phone so you're not tempted to spend hours going to it or, or you know, all throughout the day going to it. And, and instead, maybe, you know, um, you take that time to choose 
to, to meditate on something, a word that God has spoken to you. Maybe a rhema word, maybe a logos word, you know, something from scripture. But maybe it's giving yourself the opportunity to rest. Maybe it's giving yourself an opportunity to not stress over something. But all this week, your focus is going to be giving love to you. And this is amazing how this works. And and I want to hear your testimonies in the, the comments because when you are loving yourself, when I tell you that boomerangs back to you so quickly in, in different ways, but it's like loving yourself is such a strong um, creation factor in the spirit. What, what loving you what that creates on the inside of you because everything that is drawn to you everything that you are attracting has a base root on the inside of you the scripture says out of the heart flows the issues of life so what is manifesting in your life is directly connected to what's going on on the inside of you and when you are loving yourself when I tell you that is one of the strongest uh, forms of communication in the spirit. That is one of the strongest forms of uh, that that is being put out into the world uh, to to manifest back to you. It is one of the strongest emotion factors coming from your heart, and the stuff comes back super quickly. And so, I am really excited about this week. I want to encourage you if you you know fall short or you you know um, you you forget or whatever happens today, tomorrow, whatever. You have the whole week. We are practicing this the entire week. So I want you to like this video. I want you to share it with somebody. Tell somebody, hey, jump on in this love thing. Don't miss out. You know, we want to pull everybody with us. We want, mostly in the world, in the collective, I would say the overall emotion collectively is disappointment. It, it's, it's negative. It's, you know, uh, depression, sadness, not the feelings of contentment. What if the overall emotion for our planet, for the humans on the planet, was contentment, was joy? Because this is the way to it. Love is the way. And so invite somebody. Like I said, drop in the comments below what your experience is like this week. If you want to encourage somebody in the comments, encourage them. If you want to encourage me, encourage me. If you want to write a comment to yourself, encouraging yourself, I encourage you to do that. We are all in this together and I will see you next week.